In this session, we will learn about types of singularities of a complex function. First one is isolated singularity. If z equals to a is a singularity of a complex function fz such that fz is analytic at each point in the neighborhood of fz, then such singularity is called isolated singularity of fz. And in the case of complex numbers, the neighborhood around a point is an open disk with a hole at the center. So let's take an example f z equals to z squared plus 3z plus 1 divided by z plus 2 plus iota into z minus 1 minus 2 iota. The denominator of fz is 0 at z equals to minus 2 minus iota and 1 plus 2 iota. So these two points are points of singularity of fz. So this is the first point. This is the second point. Now if I see these two points, I can easily draw an open disk about both these points and there is no other singularity in that disk other than the point itself. So our function fz has isolated singularities at z equals to minus 2 minus iota and z equals to 1 plus 2 iota. Second type of singularity of complex function is called pole. If all the negative powers in Lorentz series of fz about z equals to a after minus nth power are missing, then the singularity at z equals to a is called pole of order n. And if n is 1, that is pole of first order is called a simple pole. For example, if we look at Lorentz series expansion of fz equals to e to the power z upon z cube, it has a singularity at z equals to 0. And if we look at the Lorentz series expansion of fz, it is 1 upon z cube plus 1 upon z square plus 1 upon 2 factorial z plus and so on. The highest negative power term is minus 3. So fz has a pole of order 3. If we look at another example, fz equals to cos z upon z. The Lorentz series expansion is 1 upon z minus z upon 2 factorial plus z cube upon 4 factorial minus and so on. Here the highest negative power of z is minus 1. So it has pole of order 1 that is a simple pole. Next is removable singularity. If we look at a function and there appears to be a singularity at some point, but when we do the Lorentz series expansion and if there are no negative power terms in the Lorentz series expansion of that fz about z equals to a, then the singularity at z equals to a is called a removable singularity. So for example, if we have fz equals to sin z upon z, there appears to be a singularity at z equals to 0 because we have z in denominator and that will be 0 at z equals to 0. But if I do the Lorentz series expansion about z equals to 0, then I get. So the Lorentz series expansion of sin z upon z does not have any negative power terms. But when we look at the function, there appears to be a singularity at z equals to 0. In such case, the singularity is called a removable singularity. And this singularity can be removed by redefining our function fz at z equals to 0. The next singularity is essential singularity. If there are infinitely many negative power terms in the Lorentz series expansion of fz about z equals to a, then z equals to a is called an essential singularity of fz. For example, if we have 
function fz equals to e to the power 1 upon z the Lorentz series expansion for this function will be and here we can see that the negative power terms will keep on adding to this series so there are infinitely many negative power terms in the Lorentz series expansion of fz equals to e to the power 1 upon z so the fz has essential singularity at z equals to 0 and this singularity is called an essential singularity because this singularity cannot be removed by redefining the function at z equals to 0 as was the case for removable singularity.